Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I'm continuing with my exploration of the better press. Today's experiment is going to be with just plain old cardstock just to see how this compares to the special 100% cotton cardstock that Spellbinders recommends. And I'm going to try the two cardstocks that I use the most in my craft room, and that is the Accent Opaque 120 pound. So this would be slightly, slightly thicker than the 118 pound 100% cotton paper that um, is recommended for the better press. So that's what I'm using now uh, first. And one of the things that I'm curious to see is if, if it takes the ink any differently, because my guess is that, uh, without really knowing too, too much about how paper is manufactured, my guess is that with papers that denote that they are 100% cotton, uh, I'm guessing that would imply that other papers are made from um, different types of tree pulp. Maybe there are even different things mixed in with the tree pulp, so it's not even 100% uh, natural materials. Who knows? So I would assume, wow, see, this looks really, really great. And I'm actually pretty surprised that it turned out so great, just regular plain old cardstock. So, um, so yeah, I was a little bit curious to, to see if there was something to either the, uh, paper weight itself, you know, being something a little bit on the thicker end, um, or if it was in the materials, the 100% cotton. So now with, uh, the other cardstock that I use most often is Hammer Mill. This is their digital color copy paper and it is a hundred pound cover weight. So slightly, um, a little bit lighter weight than the better press paper. And with this one, I'm super curious because it, it is thinner um, than the better press paper. So my guess is that it will not leave as much of a deboss as the other paper, um, the 120 pound accent opaque paper I was using. So I'll, it'll be interesting to see if, if that, uh, if that truly ends up being the case, but it does, it does look like it transfers beautifully. So I feel like, I feel like these transfer in terms of the, um, the ink, the crispness, the line weight, all of that, I feel like it works just as well as the, um, as the cotton paper, which I'll, I'll do uh, one panel here in the cotton paper, just so that we can see all three of them, uh, side by side with one another and, and get a, a real apples to apples comparison because, I'm, I'm using all the same, uh, I'm using the same plate and the same ink color for all three. So I also did pick up some of the, uh, Ranger archival cleaner cleaning solution. And so I am definitely, um, excited to, to do some more experimentation, especially I, I took a little bit of a pause because I really wanted to make sure I had the, um, the cleaner that they recommend and not that other cleaners did, didn't work. I just, if they prefer that we use or suggest that we use a certain type of cleaner, I definitely feel like there's a reason behind that. So, so I do want to, um, try to stick with that recommendation. So I've got my three panels here. Now, uh, the last one that I did, um, that's on the better press paper and I'm going to put the better press one in the center so that we can do a little bit of a comparison on both. So to my left, the leftmost, that's the 100 pound hammer mill. The center is the cotton paper and the rightmost is the 120 pound. And look, 
it all looks it all looks gorgeous. Now in person, you you can see that the hundred pound it was not quite as um, debossed. So if you're looking for like a very debossed design, you um, you lose a little bit of that purely because the paper just isn't quite as thick. But on the 120 pound, it looks gorgeous. It it was really fantastic, and you still get all of that beautiful detail. So I'm really I'm glad that that this works. I would say that. Um, you know, you definitely get a different feel when it's the 100 pound paper, but plain old cardstock works just great. I hope you've been enjoying these uh, exploration videos. I will definitely be doing more of them. Thanks for joining me on this one, and until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye!